Our goal is to raise $5,000 for James Wavala to open a health care clinic in his village of the Mount Elgon area of Uganda. We assume the words, it takes a village to mean many things to many people. But for James it meant life, a home, an education, and people who cared for an orphan boy in the hilly village of his birth, Kona Kai in the Baduta region of Mount Elgon, Uganda. James has made the most of every opportunity in his life to get an education as a healthcare technician with one objective in mind pay back his village that raised him with a health clinic. It seems like a simple thing. Transportation on Mount Elgon is mainly by walking. The clinic where James works now is in a separate village and for his people in his community it can be a one-way, three-hour walk. On good days or medical emergencies, someone can pay for a taxi, a scooter ride or an ambulance. But on most days, people begin walking before dawn to get to the nearest clinic early enough to get in line. Their walks are longer than most flights to Las Vegas. James has had plenty of opportunity to cash in on his knowledge with better paying jobs in Europe or in cities in Uganda or Kenya. But he has chosen to forego relative wealth and security to live on Mount Elgon to help the people who raised him. Malaria is the number one killer disease in Uganda. My children die of malaria because of complications. Because children don't complain. The parents can realize a problem when the complication has come. So by the time you run with the child to the hospital, the child dies on the way because of what? Compound convulsion. They have some just walk and some end up collapsing on the way. That's why you want to bring the services nearby. Right? With malaria, the first treatment is crucial. In poor countries, children struggle just to visit a health service for their only chance. If they get the wrong treatment the first time, they are often found dead. If we can get $10 from 500 people, we can get the clinic built and open. The land and the existing building have already been donated. At this time, everyone working there will be a volunteer. Professor Kelly Austin of Lehigh University and some of her students interested in global health studies are helping James raise money, implement programs, and train staff. The rest of us can help by giving the cost of a six-pack, a cup of coffee, or a movie to help James achieve one of his many dreams for the people of Kona Kai and Mount Elgon. It's within our power to grant this wish. Please help. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>